Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thanks for being here. Tonight we are going to revisit one of those features on Unify 5.6.22 that we talked about, which is the switch profile. Let's hop over to our Unify controller. This is our cloud key. It has 5.6.22. And right here I have a 48 port switch that is joined to the controller. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to settings and we are going to go to profiles and then we're going to go over to switch ports. Now previously you used to be able to set these or have to set them at each port at the port level. So remember by default every port on Uni a Unify switch should be a trunk. Now this is where we can start like manipulating the port into doing different things with the profile. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to come over here to networks and we're going to create a couple of networks and we'll call this one voice and we'll make it VLAN2 and for now we'll just leave all that stuff and we'll create another one here and call it video3 And so all of the devices should be provisioning. So we'll go ahead and let these provision and we'll be right back. Okay, so everything is provisioned. And here we have three networks. We have the untagged VLAN, VLAN 1. We have VLAN 2, which is our voice, and VLAN 3, which is video. So now we're gonna go down to profiles. And we're gonna go down to switch ports. And now you can see that there is information here, right? So we built out these networks. Of course, LAN is the, the default untagged VLAN that comes with it. Then video is a network that it sees, but it's also a profile. And then voice is also another network name, but it calls it, you know, it creates a profile of these. And then the native network is voice. So the native network is untagged on the port. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But then all is obviously going to be uh, our trunk. So right now, if we go over to a switch port, what we've got, let's say uh, we go to port two. We click the little, little pencil. We'll call this our test port. But if we drop down the switch port profile, we get all networks, which is trunk, which is, you know, default. We can disable it, or we can look at these networks and apply just VLAN 2, VLAN 3, or only the, the default uh, or the uh, untagged VLAN, VLAN 1. So by default, it's going to have all, which is going to make it essentially a trunk port. Then you can override profile information. So we could have set something up crazy in the profile. And you know, this actually may even make switch ports and VLANs more confusing to some people on Unify when you're looking at this. But anyway, so we can, now we can override stuff that's in the profile, right? So we could turn PoE off. We could, you know, go ahead and do a mirroring port or an aggregate port. We could do uh, manual link negotiation. Um, we can override this. So it's one of those things where we can bend the rules again. So let's go back to our profile and we'll create a profile. So let's add a new profile and we're going to call this one the lab profile. And what we're going to do is PoE, we are going to leave as do not modify. So what it should be, we're going to apply this to port two, is it should be PoE plus. So it's going to be auto sensing. Down here, now we can set our native network. So we could set this to be voice as our native. And then what do we want to tag? We want to tag video. And you could tag LAN if you want to do 
Um, you know, if you wanted to tag VLAN 1, your mileage may vary. Um, I don't know that it's a great idea to do that. Uh, and then since we've got some of the voice features coming, we could tell it which VLAN is our voice network. So actually, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and swap this. We'll make this our video. Uh, no, we'll make the LAN, the untagged, our native, and then we'll tag 2 and 3, and then we'll tell it that our voice network is voice. Then under our advanced options, we're going to leave everything just the way it is. We don't need to tweak any of these things. You'll notice that more and more of these things are coming over from the edge switch line. So now we've created our custom profile. So we'll go ahead and save that. So now you can see under profile, we have lab. And once everything provisions, now if we go to port two and we click the pencil and we go to profile, now under custom, you're gonna see lab. So it's going to apply all of those settings to port two. And we can go ahead and apply that. Yeah, we can edit this again because it didn't keep our... Uh, I didn't click apply to keep that. But there it is. So now that port has this custom profile. So you can see how you can uh, start really mixing and matching all of your networks and everything that you need a port to do and then applying it on a port by port basis. If you have to do that, I think that's great, but I don't know I don't know how simple that is going to be for some people. I, I can see um, if you've ever done you know VLAN, VLANs on an edge switch, it's super intuitive, um, or I shouldn't say maybe it's intuitive, but it's super easy. Um, and, and I'm hoping that this interface gets a little easier. I mean it's not as long as you take your time, it's not it's not difficult, but um, you know, you could, you could come in here and you could add 48 different profiles and each one of these switch ports could have a different profile. Now, I don't know if you've got enough you know, networks and combinations of things that you want to do, but, but you could do it. So that's it. You you really, you know, get you even an eight port switch and play around with the profiles. And uh, if you've got any questions, you can post those down in the comments. So that's it. I really wanted to just dig into this a little bit more and remember by default, a switch port on a, a Unify switch is a trunk if you've got multiple VLANs. And then you can come in here and we'll do it one more quick time. We add a new port profile and we'll call this Lab2. And I'm not going to mess with the PoE, but this is where you start talking about your VLAN. So the native network on here will be video. So that's going to be VLAN3. So then our tag networks will be voice. And then we would tell it that our voice VLAN is voice number two. So what that's going to do is it is actually going to leave VLAN one out of that port all the way around. So that was lab, lab two. So you see we don't have the LAN or the native VLAN there at all. So that's, that's really it. That's really it. If you've got questions, like I said, post them down in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use the Amazon affiliate link down there in the description. It doesn't change your price. It just kicks a few bucks to the channel. If you've got any questions, as always, post them, and we will see you in the next video.